Welcome to Dangerous Prototypes. I'm Ian. Originally this week we were going to show you our new standardized PCB format, but instead we thought it would be a lot more fun to have a flux off. We are repeating our earlier experiments, but this time with some different fluxes. Flux is a magic goo or paste that really helps solder flow better. It can also help it stick better to the pins and the PCB. Depending on the type of solder, it may also be a little bit acidic or a little bit corrosive to help clean up oxidized pins and circuit boards. This is going to be a four-way flux off. We're going to start out by using our regular Edson flux. This is probably the flux we most commonly use in the workshop. It's good for everything. And then next up we have two tubes of Amtec flux. These both came from the markets in China. One says made in the USA on it, and the other says made in China. We're going to test them both out and see how they compare to the Edson flux. And finally, we've got a solid block of rosin. If you added this to some isopropyl alcohol and dissolved it down, gave it some time, you could make a homemade flux with it. We haven't had time to do that yet, but we're actually going to try to melt a little bit of it onto the circuit board and see how it works out as a flux, even when it's not dissolved. The PCB we're soldering today is something new we've been working on. We're not going to tell you what it is, but it does have a PIC24F processor on it with USB. It's a 64TQFP chip. Those are pretty challenging to solder. We would never try one without flux. So it's a good candidate for the flux off. First we're going to squirt out a little bit of each flux syringe onto the PCB to compare the texture. Here's the Edson. It's about the texture of petroleum jelly. This is the first Amtec flux that says made in the USA. This one's a lot goopier and it leaves a lot more of a liquid residue behind. And finally some of the Chinese made Amtec flux. Now this is a lot thicker, this isn't at all goopy. This is a lot more like the Edson in texture. Well now that we compared the three fluxes, we'll use a little bit of them on each side of the TQFP chip and see how they work in practice. We've already mounted the pick to it in two corners without the benefit of flux. That's just to tack it into place so we can demonstrate the other fluxes. So first, We'll start off with our regular Edson. This we got from Farnell and we use it in the workshop every day. It's one of our favorites. We'll just coat one side of the chip with some Edson flux, add a bit of solder, and drag solder down the side. As always, the Edson flux works really well. We got a clean solder joint all up and down this whole side, and when we wicked it up, there were no shorts or problems left behind. Now we're going to try out the first Amtex flux from Seg Market in China. It says Amtec. And here on the label it says made in the USA. So I use this pair of old tweezers to put a little bit along one side. Ooh. First thing, without a doubt, this has a very strong odor. It's not foul, it's a little bit sweet, but it's not something I want to smell all day. It's definitely one to use the fume extractor with. Now we'll go back with the wick and soak up the excess solder. Ooh whole lot of fumes on that one. The US labeled Amtec flux made a lot of smoke, made a lot of smell. It's not something I want to use every day. The texture was fine and it worked okay, but the smell and the smoke were a bit much. Next we'll try out the Chinese made tube of Amtec and see if it works the same. Spray it on one of the unsoldered sides. Well it didn't smoke as much or smell as bad as the last one, but it didn't carry the solder as well either. We had to go over it several times to get the solder moved around to every pin. Now we'll wick up the extra and see how the joint looks. Well we got a very clean joint at the end. It wasn't as easy to do as with the Edson or the previous Amtec flux, but it worked okay. And finally we're going to try something different. This is a block of dried rosin. This is something they use to make flux. If you mix it with a little alcohol or solvent and let it sit for a few days, it'd turn into a very usable homemade flux. But we haven't done that yet, and we just wanted to try the dry rosin, see if we could get some chips broken up, melted into the pins, and if it will help us solder at all. Just to give it a test, I've broken out a chunk of the rosin from the box. I'm going to take this hot iron and just try to melt it to see what that does. Well, it melts a lot like an ice cube if you put a soldering iron to it. It smokes a bit. It doesn't smell too bad. I still don't think it would be my preferred flux. Now I'm going to take some of the chips from the rosin block and see if I can melt them into the leads and then use that to flux up the last side of the chip. The rosin block was quite capable as a flux. It didn't seem to hurt things. It smoked a little bit, but not a lot. But it's certainly not something I'd try again. It probably really needs to be dissolved in a solvent. Applying chips have got way too much on there and it's just made a mess of this board. But it did work as a flux. So let's review the four fluxes we tried today. First is our regular Edson. This is a champ. It works for everything. I love it. The Amtec, made in USA. 
Smoked a lot, smelled pretty bad, wouldn't be my favorite. Amtec made in China had a much better consistency, smoked a lot less, smelled a lot better, but it didn't work quite as well. Edson still wins. And finally, the block of rosin. Using chips wasn't a great idea, but if you dissolved this in some isopropyl alcohol and applied just a little bit, I'm sure it would work as a great flux. It carried the solder well, the smoke was moderate, and the smell was quite pleasant. So this would be a usable flux if you had nothing else on hand. Well that concludes our second flux off where we compare four types of flux on a TQFP chip. Join us next Tuesday for a new segment where we review circuit boards and next Thursday for our regular workshop video. Thank you for watching.